Hi, today we're going to look at how to create a quiz with a timer. To prevent learners from cheating on a test, you can add a timer to it. This limits the amount of time they have to answer the question. This will mean your students don't have time to search Google for the correct answers and you will receive more reliable results. The first step is to install iSpring QuizMaker. iSpring QuizMaker allows you to create online quizzes for learning, knowledge checks, and skill practice. iSpring QuizMaker has a free trial period of 14 days, and during this time you can use the full functionality of the program and create an unlimited number of tests. Download the free trial version of iSpring QuizMaker and run the installation. Now it's time to create the quiz. Let's open iSpring QuizMaker and start a new quiz. Then you have to head over to Question and choose one. I'm going to start with Multiple Choice. You can fill in your question here and then add the answer options below. Let's quickly add one more question. Again, add your question here and your answer down below. Great, now it's time to add our timer. There are three different ways you can do this. The first is to add the same time restrictions for each of the questions in your test. To do this, click on Properties up top, then head to Question Properties. Now head on down to the box labeled Limit Time to Answer the Question and check it. Now just add the required amount of time. This option will be applied by default only to new questions, so if you want it applied to questions you've already created, head down here and select Apply to All. Now you just have to save. The second option for setting timers is to set a timer for each question individually. If it happens that the questions in the test are very different in complexity, you can set different time restrictions for each question. To do this, select the question and then head on over to Slide Options and then down to Limit Time to Answer the Question checkbox. Select it and then type in the time limit. Finally, you can set a total test time if you don't need to limit the questions individually. In this case, the user will get a set amount of time to complete the entire quiz. Head back on up to Properties, then to Main Properties. Now check the Time to Complete the Quiz box and set the time for the whole quiz. Don't forget to click Save to apply the settings. Outstanding! Okay, now that we have our test with a timer all set up, let's make sure it's working properly by taking a look at the preview. You can see here it is telling us the amount of time we have to complete the entire quiz. And we can see our individual question timer counting down over here. Looks good. Let's quickly see how it would look on a cell phone. That looks good too. Excellent. Now we're ready to publish, so we can head on over to the Publish button and click on it. You have the option here to export directly to your computer, to iSpring Cloud or iSpring Learn, or to another LMS using one of the supported LMS profiles, like SCORM 2004 or SCORM 1.2, or you can save it as a Word document. Today I'm going to publish directly to my computer. Once your quiz has finished publishing, you can see where it's stored on your computer by selecting Open over here. Today you've learned how to create a timed quiz using iSpring QuizMaker, a great tool for building online assessments. Give it a try! Don't forget to enable the time setting to reduce the chances of cheating and gather more accurate assessment information.